Good morning, everyone. Speaking of stones, today's topic is the introduction to the birth of a mineral. Birth, the appearance of the young, the start of a life, as a physically or a, as a se physically separate entity, could apply to minerals and gemstones also. They say that only thing permanent in this earth is the change. Earth is a dynamic with a surface that is always changing, the recycling of sedimentary, igneous, and metamor metamorphic rocks that can interchange their compositions. Rocks are a collection of minerals mixed up during the uh, geological process. Earth is a very noisy place. It pulsates every 26 seconds, and no one really knows why it does that. There are avalanches that roar, volcanoes that rumble, hurricanes that blow, and the low rumbling noises of the, of the core of the earth turning that are too low for us to hear. The earth spins and rotates, goes into the inner molten core to generate magnetic fields around the, around the planet. Some people believe that heat of the core exceeds the temperature of the surface of the sun. Minerals are made of chemical elements and melt in different temperatures. Some minerals are liquid as magma rises through the crust using volcanoes or other gradual processes. The molten mix cools when it arrives to the surface and minerals crystallize. <coughs> minerals are formed by geological processes in rocks in the natural environment. One of the most, most important molecules on Earth, the calcium carbonate, crystallizes into salt, cells, and minerals. Calcium carbonate is the largest reservoir of carbon on the planet. Understanding how calcium carbonate turns into various minerals could help to control the formation and keep the carbon dioxide from getting into the atmosphere. Two-thirds of the minerals owe their existence to, the, to life, and life, but life also may owe its existence to minerals. First mineral born in Earth uh, was probably the diamond. Uh, diamond starts to form at a pressure of approximately 725,000 pounds per square inch at temperatures of about 2,200 Fahrenheit and about 100 miles below the crust of the Earth. At those conditions, bubbles could crystallize instantly in the minerals they contain. Also, if you would happen to be there, you would immediately crystallize into minerals you made of. Emeralds form when cro enough chromium and vanadium are present where, where, where beryl, uh, beryl crystals grow. Corundum is made of densely packed oxygen and aluminum atoms, and when chromium replaces aluminum, that is how the ruby gets its red color. During the uh, Earth's formation, the iron took other heavy metals like gold and platinum with it and sank into the, surface, into the center of the Earth. Some of those were left on the crust of the earth, but most of them are so far down that they are too difficult to, uh, to get to. Every mineral is formed in a little different circumstances and mixed with traces of other minerals to get its color and other characteristics. A birth of a mineral is a, is a long story. That's it for the introduction to the birth of the birth of the minerals today. Thanks for listening and any questions, requests for any stones, please contact speaking of stones at gmail.com. Have a colorful afternoon and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.